The late former Premier Li Keqiang visited Hong Kong several times in various capacities. Back in 2011, Li visited the SCR for three days. Apart from taking district tours, Li announced 36 measures to show the central government's support for Hong Kong's economic and social development. Jacqueline reports. Twelve years ago, then-Vice Premier Li Keqiang embarked on a three-day trip to Hong Kong in mid-August. I hope to get around more, see more and listen more here, Li said. So he did. Li took the time to visit an elderly home in Ho Mountain. Li said the success of Hong Kong today was the result of the efforts of the older generation. Li then headed to Painting Estate in Lambton. After tapping views from public housing tenants, Li said public housing was important in addressing the city's housing problems. Another stop, the middle-class Laguna City. Li visited the family of Kwok Kwai Ming, who worked at the drainage services department, and took the opportunity to praise the work of civil servants in Hong Kong. Today, the Quark still keep the tea set gifted by the former Premier Well. Apart from expressing sadness over Lee's sudden passing, Quark said Lee at the time encouraged people in Hong Kong to put in concerted efforts for the good of the community. Mrs. Quark also remembered Lee's caring attitude when asking about their family life. During Li's three-day trip to Hong Kong, he announced 36 new policies. They included expanding the Mainland and Hong Kong Closer Economic Partnership Agreement, or SIPA, and allowing Minglanders to buy Hong Kong stocks indirectly. Li also attended the centenary ceremony of the University of Hong Kong, where he delivered a speech in English. HKU is for China. It has become a key higher education institution in China playing an increasingly important role in China's development and its integration with the world. Li also officiated the completion ceremony of the new government headquarters at Tamar. After becoming Premier, Li spoke about many Hong Kong issues, including the Occupy Central movement in 2014 and the social unrest in 2019. Zhongyang while saying that Beijing's policy direction and support for Hong Kong would remain unchanged. In 2022, Hong Kong was pummeled by the fifth wave of COVID pandemic. He urged the SAR government to shoulder the responsibility to fight the virus. Over the 10 years of his tenure as premier, three SAR chief executives had paid duty visits to see Lee. Li called on the city's leaders to resolve the livelihood issues of Hong Kong people. As early as the 80s, Li led a delegation of all China Students' Federation to visit Hong Kong. He also witnessed the handover of Hong Kong in 1997. Jackie Lin, TVB News.